Hi, this is your host Sapnil Bhartia and welcome to a special edition of Let's Talk, which was supposed to be recorded at Open Source Summit in Vancouver, but we are doing it remotely post the event. And today we have with us Tina Zo, Chair of LF Edge Board. Tina, it's great to have you on the show. Nice to meet you. Let's start with the growth of LF Edge uh, project and foundation. Talk a bit about how LF Edge has evolved over the years and what factors have contributed to its growth? Elf Edge has significantly evolved since its inception, expanding its project portfolio and growing its community. It started with a few foundational projects and has grown to host a variety of innovative edge-focused projects. This growth can be attributed to the increasing importance of edge computing in the tech industry. The broad support from industry leaders recognizing the value of open source collaboration. The need for standardization and interoperability in edge computing. Talk about the role that you see LF has played in organizations, companies embrace edge computing, uh, the, the growth and adoption of uh, these technologies and solutions in the market. LF Edge plays a pivotal role in shaping the edge computing landscape. It has promoted the development of open source edge computing solutions, fostered the cross industry collaboration, accelerating technology development providing a unified platform for addressing critical industry issues. Of course, this is an open source project, you know, folks can see uh, in GitHub and the whole project pipeline there, but uh, can you talk about uh, what kind of things are you folks are working on? What are your future plans? What things are in the development uh, for at least this year? Looking ahead, we can expect Elf Edge to incorporate more projects and expand its community, drive standardization efforts, creating industry-wide best practices for edge computing, influence the development of edge computing technology in emerging fields like 5G, IoT, and AI. Uh, since you mentioned uh, 5G, are there any industries that you see are like emerging which can benefit from LF Edge project because the fact is there are a lot of industries but not everybody is using open source LF Edge. Uh, we've already seen uh, like China Mobile, they are deploying the CFN blueprint from LF Edge. It's computing force networking using AI and the scheduling of the um, different architectures in the same network. Talk about the challenges that are there and opportunities that are there for uh, LF Edge and the whole ecosystem. LF Edge faces challenges such as ensuring compatibility and interoperability among various edge computing solutions. Yeah, it's challenges, it's also opportunities. Managing the rapid pace of technology changes but it also has opportunities like leading the industry in defining the future of edge computing, leveraging the grow, growing interest in edge computing across various industries, like uh, for agriculture, like for public health, like for transportation networks, and so on. Now I want to talk a bit about you. Can you share your own personal experience? Uh, how have you been involved with LF Edge and what have been your key takeaway from your experience? I have been involved in LF Edge for many years. Uh, the uh, involvement in LF Edge provides a valuable opportunity to collaborate with leading industry professionals, contribute to defining the future of edge computing, stay at the forefront of technological innovation in the edge computing landscape. Tina, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about LF Edge, and I would love to sit down and chat with you again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your very uh, valuable questions. I would love to see many directors to join Elf Edge.